Nick, welcome to NUS. We're absolutely delighted to have you here on campus. Singapore Airlines has embarked on a massive restructuring strategy to improve service quality and at the same time drive productivity. Can you share more about this strategy with us? Internally, we're calling it the next phase of our transformation. Uh, the last six or seven years have been about uh, implementing a lot of strategic initiatives to adapt to changes in our operating environment. Uh, initiatives such as getting into the low-cost business. The next phase of the transformation really is about three key areas, um, one of which is uh, looking at revenue generation. So this is not purely a cost-cutting exercise. We want to look at new ways to generate revenue in our core areas as well as new business uh, segments as well. Of course, cost is in there, but cost doesn't mean going at the traditional ad hoc way of cutting costs. We're talking about the use of technology, uh, data collection, for example, to find ways to really look at uh, fundamental changes in our cost base to make us more competitors. I guess if you were to put it a different way, you're talking about market standing, market leadership, uh, innovation, uh, and also our people development. Nick, low-cost airlines are eroding share and profits of full-service airlines. Do you still see a future for this premium Singapore Airlines brand in the market? We absolutely do. Uh, we are very, very committed to uh, continuous investment in the Singapore Airlines premium full-service offerings. Uh, but we are also uh, seeing an opportunity, of course, in the low-cost side of our own. We've set up a new airline called Scoot. We set that up about five years ago to tap into the low-cost market segment more. Uh, and we have since merged another airline that we had called Tiger Air into Scoot. So we have what we call our portfolio approach to airline operations, our portfolio strategy, in which we have all key market segments covered. In our view, it's not a winner-takes-all type approach. There will always be a differentiation in the market. There will always be people who will want to travel on full-service airlines, and there will also be a market segment that will travel on low-cost. So through our portfolio approach, our portfolio strategy, we have those key market segments covered. Singapore Airlines is the world's most awarded airline, full-service airline in the world. And at the same time, uh, it's a very competitive industry. So Singapore Airlines has been working on cutting costs and driving productivity. How do you sell this internally to your employees? I think it's uh, very clear that our employees understand the most important thing uh, to Singapore Airlines, and that is our customer. But that doesn't mean that you can't also be an airline, or an, a business, I should say, just to put it that way, that doesn't run in a cost-effective manner. We're in a business where margins are very thin at the best of times. So you make sure that uh, you focus on delivering the best travel experience to your customer, but internally you make sure that you don't have waste um, along the way. Our employees understand that already, um, and we also share in the rewards. It's a, it's a type of operation where everyone benefits when times are good. So it's not through the bonus schemes, for example. So it's not one that you want to be wasting uh, because it affects your bonus at the end of the day. Singapore Airlines has been the most awarded airline in the world. What would you think is sort of the secret of Singapore Airlines being able to sustain excellent over decades? It really comes down to the whole philosophy of the company, the whole corporate culture of, of the company, and that primary focus, I think, on the customer. We are in a business which is highly competitive. It always has been, always will be. So we must be enhancing all aspects of our, um, our business at all times. The three key areas of our business, our business model, I guess, product, service, and network, all three must be constantly enhanced to ensure that uh, Singapore Airlines continues to be an airline of choice for our customers. But that single-minded focus, I think, on ensuring that we deliver what we promise to our customers is perhaps the most important thing. Nick, we have one question on the recent introduction of the customer experience management system where you use customer data to improve customer service and personalized service. What do you think will it do for the customer experience? Well, Singapore Airlines has always been known for providing very good customer service. And that uh, focus from the human aspect of it will always remain. However, we are supplementing that or complementing that with what we call CEM, Customer Experience Management. It's essentially a database that we set up um, about five years ago. And this uh, is a um, system that provides all of our frontline staff around the world with consistent information about our customers. So our cabin crew on board, for example, on the iPad can capture information about our customers, about their desires, about their preferences. And we can then, on their next flight or their next experience with us, proactively 
offer it to them. But the technology is not there to replace the human touch. That is something I need to stress. It actually frees up our staff to do more in the surprise and delight element. For example, our staff on the ground in uh, one of our stations around the world may have had his or her own database of information about the customer and would have had to you know, uh, manually capture that along the way. Now with this system, you can have prompts when it's a birthday, for example, and you can arrange a cake uh, for, your, uh, for a very important customer. It's using the technology to free up our staff so that they can find even more ways to surprise and delight our customer. That is essentially the philosophy behind the CEM system. You can catch up on product with money and time, uh, but the service side of things is the one that we know we must ensure that we uh, differentiate ourselves on and must ensure that we stay at the top of the game on. Okay, Nick, thank you so much for this interview. I think it's very nice that we ended with Singapore Airlines' focus on the passenger and customer centricity. My pleasure.